Hello fellow YouTubers, this is uh, N0AGI. I'm here to do a short video on some uh, preparatory work for the install coming up on my repeater number two site. Um, you, you might have seen this cabinet from my previous YouTube video. Um, this cabinet wouldn't fit in my new site location so I'll have to take my cans out of the duplexer cabinet and then make the room for the install. So I'll be taking out the the bracket that holds the uh, the canisters together which is really that beam, that, the, that horizontal beam that holds these cans together with the cabinet and there's one similar beam at the bottom there I don't know if you're able to see it, but uh, it's uh, somewhere in the bottom there. So there's two of two of these beams that will need to come out, and I'll be taking care of that right now. Also, uh, the cans have external access through those ports in the back, so obviously that'll come out also. And uh, and I'll be getting these ready, and. Uh, ready for the site install. I'll be right back. Okay, I took the back panel out of the cabinet here and um, as you can tell these uh, these access ports go to these uh, connectors in the back these coupling connectors in the back and uh, that's for the antenna over here, that's the antenna um, so let's uh, make sure I grab this uh, just in case I get things switched around here. We don't want that. So for me to take these cans out of the cabinet, I had to take these uh, canisters out from the housing first. Otherwise it was uh, simply impossible to take the whole frame out of this cabinet because the cabinet has these um, these brackets that can uh, prevent uh, the the housing uh, as a whole to kind of come out uh, so you can't really just slide it out you'd have to take it um, you'd have to kind of tilt it one side and pull it out so the only way I could tilt is by taking those cans out and uh, reassemble those back. Before I did that though I made sure I labeled each of these canisters and and how they go um, back on the housing and I also made sure these uh, jumpers are labeled uh, with the canister number so that so that there's no confusion really. So I'm gonna put this back now and uh, hopefully this will all go back together nicely and we should be fine. Alright I'll be right back. Alright so here's the finished product. Uh, I thought it, it might be a good idea to put these cans you know horizontally versus vertically that way you get to easily connect the repeater to the duplexers uh, jump cables so overall things turned out pretty good I put them all back together uh, based on the, the numbering I had in there earlier when I took this apart and uh, everything seems to be looking good I will now be connecting up the antenna to the duplexer here and then get her up on the air and see how she's performing also uh, for my site here uh, we will be doing some experimenting and testing um, before this whole setup goes on the air so that'll be happening in the next uh, couple of uh, days here so anyway so that's a quick uh, snapshot of uh, the cans uh, taken out of the uh, duplexer cabinet 
and they are now going to be right above the, the repeater like so and this whole setup will be installed on a heavy duty um, wall mounted uh, shelving at the site so that's a quick uh, summary guys and this is N0 AGI I'll keep you posted on the uh, the results and how this thing comes up well there goes the stamp for this remote site install and we will get that give that another 10 or 15 minutes for her to dry up and it should be all set to go N0AGI signing off.